James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share and celebrate this beautiful wine with you today. It's Hagafen Cellars Pre. It's a reserve line and it's from Napa Valley Cabernet Franc, a state bottle from Ernie Weir's family uh, vineyard, which is called uh, Weir Family Vineyard 3, 13.5% alcohol content. Superbly low production here, so 200 cases produced. And uh, for me, this is I tasted this in uh, April 2013, so it's May 2013. And uh, I tasted through successive um, wines, not just at Hagafen, but other producers as well. So when you're tasting through, you're not really getting the experience of tasting the wine singularly or tasting it on its own, where there's no other uh, interactions that are going to maybe take away or add to maybe the wine you're tasting. So for me on this, I, I did a pre-tasting and a um, little humor there. And for me, this is a phenomenal wine. It was even more memorable than when I tasted it at the uh, tasting room itself. And it was just phenomenal. Something that I think is just uh, gorgeous in terms of its scent characteristics. So take time to smell and taste your wine. Now, beautiful notes on this, just on the scent is notes of suede, lavender, bramble patch, autumnal plum orchard. And um, th the reason you bring out these different, and somebody asked me this question, so that's why I'm bringing it out here, is uh, why do you compare maybe uh, the scent versus the taste? Well, sometimes um, you'll get notes in the scent profile that are slightly different. And actually, when you put them all together, uh, build to what the wine really is like. So you're not going to really taste suede, at least I hope you don't. Um, but really, the, the scent on that is really evocative and it's coming through just on just the smell of this wine fantastically nice so here we go take a taste give you some flavor characteristics as well as a point score here we go mm. elegant beautiful just on first taste you're thinking cabernet sauvignon but immediately on the finish you're knowing that this is cabernet franc and it's a handsome cabernet franc it's just definitive it's um evocative it's nuance and, and yet expressive. Um, and I don't really get that excited about Cabernet Franc that often, but this is one that I have. Uh, beautiful notes of boysenberry, raspberry, black plum, chocolate, tamarind, cardamom, black pepper, and a hint of chili ancho. I give this one a 9.3 out of 10.0 scale. You can think of that as a 93 out of 100 points. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.